Invariably, you're going to run into shifting content on the site you're testing that does not create a significant visual anomaly, but it will make your tests fail. For example, an image or a logo shifting to the left or to the right by a handful of pixels. And this example captures that by having an image that shifts to the left and to the right by a handful of pixels on each page refresh. So if we write a simple visual test that visits this page and performs a check window, it would fail. Case in point, when we compare the results against a baseline pass using Apple Tools Eyes, we can see that the test did fail. To account for this, what we can do is actually create a what's called a float region. By using this part of the menu, we can go ahead and select an area of the page, selecting the element that we want, and specifying a region around it. And within this region, we're basically creating a tolerance threshold that will account for uh, mobility of this element. So in this example, since it's moving to the left or to the right, we're allowing this element to move within this threshold band. So we can go ahead and accept and save this as the new baseline image and then rerun our test. And in this example, we're just, like I said, visiting the page and performing a check window action. We can see here in the console that our test passed and if we go back to the Apple Tools Eyes dashboard. We can see that the image did render in a different location and the test passed this time. So the image moved within the floating region tolerance. But let's go ahead and take a look at a more practical example of using a floating region. If we have something in our application that we want to visually verify but the location constantly changes, then we can potentially account for that using a floating region as well. So in this example, we have a list of text. Uh, this example is meant to mimic something similar to subject lines in an email inbox. And in this, there is one piece of content that we should care about. It's the important information you're looking for. And all of this content is static, but on each page refresh, the position of all of them changes. So this item could, be, could stay in position four, it could go to the first place, it could go to the last place. It's random. Now, if we write a very simple visual test that visits this page and does a check window, it would fail, case in point, as we can see here. But we can apply a floating region, just like we did in the previous example. The only difference is that we'll actually not just enclose the item that we want, we're actually going to make a bigger region for the threshold tolerance. So what we're saying is this text can appear anywhere within this area. So if we go ahead, accept this, and save it. Then we can go ahead and rerun our test. And as I mentioned, it's just a simple test. It visits the page and checks the window. And we see this test passes. Jump back over into Apple's eyes. We can compare against the baseline. And we can see that the position changed, but the test did not fail.